Oh, that is too high up. Okay. So, um, first things first, I've got a new camera. Yeah, it's really awesome. Because now I won't be making videos looking like I have like a 1980s, I don't even know, it was just terrible. The quality was awful. This video is actually gonna be one of my um, really, really highly requested videos. Everyone has been asking me to redo my room tour because there's a lot of different things now. Everything's kind of changed. I don't have all the same animals I had six months ago. So much has changed in just six months. It feels like that video was made like years ago, but it's only been six months and it's crazy. Let me go ahead and show y'all all my animals. The first animals that I am going to show y'all. Oh my God, why am I zooming in? Stop. I'm still learning, okay? The first animals I'm going to show y'all are my, um, I was about to say my seahorses, but these aren't seahorses, these are hedgehogs. So the first animals I'm gonna show y'all are my hedgehogs. This is my female hedgehog, Solara. She is an Algerian black hedgehog. She is a complete sweetheart. And this one is her roommate. Let me get her out. This is Piper. She's just waking up, so she's on a little on the grumpy side. Here's both of them. So these are my female hedgehogs. I still have one more hedgehog to show y'all. I have a male hedgehog. He is way over there. So here we had my female hedgehog cage. This has two females in it. Typically you don't want to house two hedgehogs together just because it normally causes issues. But Solara was actually a surrogate mother before I had her at a breeding place where she would take care of rejected babies because she's just really, really good and motherly. So she works really well with other hedgehogs. Now over here we have my male hedgehog. I can get him out. He's really grumpy, so you're probably not gonna see his face. Okay, let's see if she'll come out, or he'll come out. I'm working on it. And here we have Kovu. He's definitely very shy. He doesn't really come out much, unless I like put him on my lap for like a really long time, and then he'll eventually, he's not feeling very friendly right now. So that's Kovu, Piper, and Solara. Those are all my hedgehogs. Next we have an animal, I don't know how to word this. This is the only creepy crawly animal I own, I promise, so don't, don't, don't exit out now. I was actually using her cage as a prop for filming. Let me open this. Oh my god, it was already unlocked. That's nice. This is Cersei. She is my tarantula. She's a rose hair. Yeah, that's her. She doesn't do much. So, there's not much to this one. Hi. Alright, so yes, that was Cersei, and yes, of course, that's a Game of Thrones reference. On this desk right here, I have my tarantula, and then I have my... Axolotl. Now, this is the same axolotl I had in my first video, and if you remember, it was about the size of what his head is now, or actually her head. I found out that Mushu is a girl. She is insanely large. I don't know what happened. And then this is her tank. Normally, it doesn't have a light on. It's just so I could show y'all. I do have a video about axolotl care. That will be in my description. This is my new tank. I am definitely working on it. It's disgusting right now. Look at all that algae. It's very gross. It's just gonna be a nano tank for invertebrates and a few corals. I do have one little tiny mushroom chilling out right here. He's, um, if it would focus. I do have one little coral right there. That's just a mushroom. He's my test coral. Just making sure that this water's doing okay. Obviously, I'm having a really bad hair algae problem, so that's why I'm not adding anything else right now until I fix that. But that's that tank. So that's my four gallon nano tank. That's my axolotl mushu. That's my tarantula. Two female hedgehogs. Male hedgehog. Next up we have my crested gecko, Echo. Yes, that rhymes and no, I did not intend for it to. In the last video I had, Echo was in it, but he had a tail. Now he does not have a tail, so that's kind of sad. Basically when crested geckos get startled or whatever, they will drop their tail and they can't grow it back. So he has lost his tail. He got kind of shaken up and threw it and then stared at it in regret, but that was his choice. Echo, say hi. Echo is very fat. He has got fat rolls. That's Echo. Okay, here we have my other crested gecko. This one's Phoenix, also a boy, also dropped his tail. Actually dropped his tail in the middle of the night one night when I was just sleeping. I just hear this huge noise, wakes me up. I check in his cage and he's just, again, staring at his tail in regret. I don't really know what scared him, but something did, obviously. 
Oh. Here is my desk, and right here is my Crusty Gecko cages. This one right here is Echoes. This one right here is Phoenix. And in the middle is going to be a Pac Man frog cage. I'm still working on it, not quite there yet. I did have a Pac Man frog, but he was very sick from the first day, and he did not make it, sadly. It was really heartbreaking. Like, I, I honestly, I cried, and I only had it for like two weeks, and I cried. Now, over here, we have my saltwater tank. This one is a bio cube. I've had it running for, I don't know, like four or five months now. After I got rid of my fresh water, this all started. I have two clownfish. I have more fish in this tank, but they are like all hiding right now. I don't know what their deal is. I have one back here. Oh, she hides. Then over here we have this tank that it looks disgusting, but I promise you it's not. I had a little tiny bunch of macro algae die over here and it made the water get all green on this side. It's really the water levels are fine, it's just I need to, you know, do a little water change, clean out that water, but it's not endangering my seahorses. This is a seahorse tank, but like I said, the lighting ain't you're not gonna be able to see anything magically right now. I have Right here is a pregnant seahorse, he ain't gonna show himself. And right here is my other female seahorse. Then, over here, we have my freshwater tank. Basically, it's just some, there's a snail right there. We have some guppies and tetras. I have a beta in here too, but he likes to hide in the plants and kind of just come out when he feels ready. So there's that. So honestly, that's really everything. People tend to think I have a lot more than I really do, but I have two female hedgehogs, male hedgehog, freshwater tank, seahorse tank, reef tank, Crested Gecko, Frog, Crested Gecko, Tarantula, Axolotl, 4 gallon tank. So yeah, that's really everything in my room. There's really, there's nothing else. I do have a dog, but she doesn't stay in my room. She stays out there because all of my animals are like food to her and she wants to eat all of them. So that's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna let her eat my animals. I'm still kind of getting used to this camera so I'm sorry if I'm not looking in the right place or something like that. I'm still really learning how it works. That's everything in here. I do have a video of receiving my corals in the mail. It was actually the first time I've ever ordered things online. I hope y'all enjoyed seeing my room. Anyway, thank you for watching. Bye! How do I stop filming?